Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to set up No Machine Remote Desktop software in our Jetson device. So let's first discuss why we need No Machine. So there can be a lot of scenarios where you will have to operate your Jetson device in a headless mode, which means there will be no monitor connected to it. Your Jetson device will be in the same network as your development machine or your laptop. So at this point, we can still use VNC, but to be honest, VNC is a very s slow connection and we need something fast and this is why no machine comes into the picture now let's discuss what makes no machine faster so first thing is that no machine itself is a very faster way of connecting to your remote device because it uses less resources another important thing is that instead of using this default desktop environment we are going to install xfce which is a very lightweight and very fast environment and this makes the whole setup looks very fast okay so let's start So I'm currently on the No Machine website where they have explained how you can install No Machine on NVIDIA Jetson Nano or Jetson Xavier NX or AGX. So I'll put the link in the description so that you can also follow these steps, but these are very simple. So what we are going to do first is that we are going to copy the link, the download link. So let me just copy this and I'll VNC into my Jetson device. I'll open a terminal. And here we can simply wget to download the setup oops looks like we have copied the wrong command so let me just copy this command again I think this is the right command let me cancel this clear it and let's do it again so now it's getting downloaded it's done now once it is downloaded we need to install this so we can install this using the dpkg command so let's go back to our Jetson device so I'll type sudo dpkg minus I no machine Okay, so the no machine is now installed. Now next thing we need to do is we need to install XFCE. So let me just quickly check the command to install it. So let me copy this. Now this is going to install my XFCE desktop environment. Okay, looks like the XFC is now also installed. Now the next step is to disable the X server. So you can disable this if you don't have any plans to connect the monitor. But as of now, I'm skipping this step, this particular step. Now the step number three is to configure the no machine uh, configuration file. So we have to edit this particular file. So let's just copy this path. I'm going to use the G editor. And there are few texts which we have to replace. So find the default desktop command 
key and change the line to following default desktop command. So this is the default desktop command. Let's change this to this thing. So I'll put a comment here and then I'll add the path of the XFCE. Now once that is done, we just need to save the changes and we need to close this file. And let's also reboot the Jetson device. So I have now rebooted my Jetson device and now you can see that we are currently inside our XFCE environment. Now during the reboot process, once the Jetson Nano power on, powers on, at the login screen you will have to enter the password. Now during the password there is, there is a settings icon or the gear icon. You will have to select that and then manually select the XFCE um, session instead of the default desktop environment. So once you do that and once you enter the password and login, you will come into this XFCE session environment. Now, next thing we need to do is that we need to install the no machine client software on your laptop. So you can go ahead and no machine client. Now from here, you can download the no machine client software, which I've already installed in my laptop. So I'm going to start the no machine client software. Now here you can here you can enter your, the IP address, but I've already entered the IP address. So I'm just going to connect directly to my Jetson Nano. Okay, so now I am inside my Jetson Nano using the no machine and you can see that it is very very faster than VNC. So in the upcoming videos we are going to use the no machine software in order to connect remotely to our Jetson device instead of this VNC server which feels a bit awkward and very slow. So I guess that's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe.